Good morning and welcome to another episode of Real Hustle. We're currently getting all of our flies situated. We're getting all of our camera equipment packed up and getting our fly rods and even one spinning rod in the van. The van's all set up to camp in and we're heading to Utah. We're gonna be floating the Green River under the Flaming Gorge. It's a three day event. We're gonna be meeting our good friends, the Easy Peasy Life, Blake and Nick Mobs, and we are going to be doing some drift fishing. So. I hope you guys really enjoy this episode. It's not the norm. I'm traveling and I'm unable to fish and put you on an episode right here, right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little bit of my pack, a little bit of what I've got going on for this trip, but then we're gonna leave you with an edit that I never dropped from the winter. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you for all the support. So here's a couple of our fly boxes that we're starting to get prepped and cutting all the old line off some of the flies we used in the past. Here's our dry box. It's a lot of chubbies and grasshoppers and other dry flies. And then other than that, we're getting this duffel bag packed. We're getting all of our different mounts and different cameras and drones. And we're going to get ready to start getting that van prepped to camp in and a lot of filming and a lot of fishing. All right, so I got the bed made with plenty of pillows and blankets. Now I'm just getting ready to pack everything we need for camping. I got both fly rods in, and it's time to keep it moving. I don't know what the fire ban is, so I'm going to bring that to cook with. I got a table. They said the bed's all made up, and uh, now it's time to fill up all the stuff that goes underneath here. All right, guys, so everything it takes to be successful camping, fly fishing, drifting, and all the camera equipment is loaded in that van. We're going to hit the road tomorrow, and uh, we'll be bringing you some more fishing episodes as soon as possible. Thanks for being patient, and for now, enjoy this powder edit from Breckenridge of my wife shredding. Thanks, guys. See, only steezy riders have those little patches on their knees, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that little beauty. Doss, is that you? It's me, Doss. It's William. I thought that was Doss. No, it's me, William. William, you're kidding it. I'm on the mountain with my cousin, William, and he's gonna do a real big trick. Yeah, William, you're killing it. All right, so we're on the park chair here at Breckenridge, chair five, and Jade's just kind of scoping out a line on some of these boxes and rails, and next thing you should see is her hitting them. Stay tuned, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for your support. from peak eight over to peak seven and eventually peak six now. We're gonna try and get some of this powder in the trees. guys we're currently on the t-bar at the horseshoe bowl and uh yeah we're going kind of up towards the top there's been a lot of powder up here today so it should be a good day
pretty epic day out here guys can't beat it love when it's snowing gray gloomy and snowing the best days guys it's so good Trout. Rainbow <laughs> trout. So we got the rainbow trout, the northern pike, some rice, some corn, some, some green butter. beans, and about to get on it. Who would be having like rounds of drinks, Just like crush that around the hollering for the curling. There's the boat though, where I found the boat. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video of my wife and I shredding a powder day at Breckenridge. We really appreciate all your support, so if you're stoked on this content, please hit the like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and hit the subscribe for us. We'll see you guys again next week.